Shepherd's pie is one of those classic British recipes that's satisfying, comforting, but most of all, delicious. Today's Shepherd's pie recipe is inspired by a well-known Irish restaurant that I enjoy. Hi, I'm Chef Jason Hill. This easy shepherd's pie recipe gets its rich flavor from tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and chopped fresh rosemary. And to make it fun, we're going to bake them off in individual ramekins. A traditional recipe for shepherd's pie calls for ground lamb, but people also use ground beef. Today we're going to make a turkey shepherd's pie, and I promise you'll find it just as satisfying. Before making this Irish shepherd's pie, you'll need to make up a batch of my garlic mashed potatoes, which you'll need for the topping. All right, let's start by preheating our pan and melting down two tablespoons of butter. Then we're going to stir in two diced carrots, two diced celery, and a whole diced onion, and two cloves of garlic. After cooking about eight to 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in the rosemary, and then we're gonna add the ground turkey. I'm gonna just break it up with my hands as I add to the pan. Be sure you wash your hands after handling raw meat before you go touching anything else. You don't wanna cross-contaminate and get people sick in your kitchen. Now we've cooked the turkey until it's brown. We're gonna stir in one tablespoon of tomato paste two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a half a cup of beef broth. And then lastly, we're gonna put in two cups of green peas. Before we add this to the ramekins, I'm gonna go ahead and put about a half a teaspoon of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. Let's put the mix in the individual ramekins and then we're gonna cover with the mashed potatoes. I'm using 16 ounce ramekins here, and we're gonna get about four individual servings out of this recipe. I just kind of plop the potatoes on top. I leave about an inch of space from the top of the bowl there. So get enough potatoes in there. Lastly, I like to top these with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. About a tablespoon on each one will do. Have your oven preheated at 375 degrees because we're gonna bake these off for about 20 to 30 minutes. I checked these at 20 minutes and thought they needed a little bit longer, so they've been in there a total of 30 minutes. And they're nice and golden brown. Oh man, this is the ultimate in comfort food. I hope you enjoy this inexpensive, easy recipe. Thanks for tubing in. Mm.